Yeah. Well, you're going to get injured probably. Holy uh, moly. That's what's going to happen. But, you there know, you yeah, we're good. And you, how many litres of blood did you have transfused into your body after your game on Saturday? No, it was, um, yeah, it looked a lot worse than, than what it was. Oh. Um, I, I remember Josh Gibson saying you had a little bit of blood coming from, from the back of your head. Um, so I touched it and there was like three or four drops on my fingers and then he goes, no, nah, I was all running down. It was running <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah. so, it was um, probably your your boy Cooper was watching it. Yeah, Coop was, uh, he turned oh, around and, Coop. Coop's five. Yeah. Uh, he turned around and said to mum, oh, what, what's daddy doing with all that uh, blood on his head? And then Lois <laughs> tried to make a joke of it saying this and that. And then after the game he goes, I, I don't think I'm going to play football. It's, it's, it's a oh. bit rough. Yeah, so, you were turning yeah. the children of Australia the off, including your own son. Well, he had the football and he was kicking at me yesterday, so I don't think it turned him off. Is he off. tough? Like, can you tell he's tough? Is he tough like you? Uh, his younger brother, who's about is tough. ten months, he's, yeah, uh, he's right. rough. And, um, Do you want your kids to be injured like this, though? Do you want them to get involved? No, I've never really pushed Coop. Coop's only really started getting into footy probably the last twelve months. Right. Um, but his younger brother, who's ten months, is he's. I think all he says is pretty much ball. He used to so say dad and mum, and now he just do says you, ball. So. I know this sounds strange, Luke Hodge, but do you mind Do you mind getting hurt like that? You don't seem to actually mind it. Like, I'd be devastated. <laughs> you know what I mean? You seem to... I think it's you thrive part, on it, I think, no, I think it's a part of the game. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Do you love it, though, if, don't you? I, I, I love football, so I think it, it's... Yeah, but you love getting hurt. You love, <laughs> no one I mean, you love, no you, one you love that it fires you up. You wear it uh, very well. You've got your thumb brace in today. You've got your big scabby head. <laughs> You've never looked happier. Oh, it's because we won. But yeah, that's, right. I think that's, that's, okay. what, that's what comes with football. You are... Well, you're top two now. You two are even getting involved with you. This is a, this is a tribute song to you. Yeah. Saturday. Saturday. I mean, it's a short yeah, song, but... It is a short <laughs> Very short. Rocking up the Yeah, very short. Yeah. 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 We've got a lot to talk to you about. You're, you're, you're top two, no doubt. Who would you prefer to play, Fremantle or Sydney? And be honest here. Who would you prefer to play in the first week of the finals? It's going to uh, be one of those two teams. Well, both both teams are good teams. They're both very uh, very good defensive. Yeah, we know they're both great teams. That's Mate, why I'm, we're asking you. You're going to be I'm playing one of those two. So, as I said, both teams, you're in... You enjoy playing the best sides. Yeah, who, in the are, you gonna, who you are you going to beat? You easier? Can, and you can actually, you can choose who you play. Yeah. They, they actually cho- can choose their opponent if they throw the game really? because they, they play Sydney this week. If they let Sydney beat them, they play Fremantle. If they if they right. beat Sydney, they play Sydney. So all they Choosing. have to do to play Fremantle is let Sydney beat them this week. Yeah, that was like the Bulldogs last night with the Lions. You're like, no, no, you're not supposed to win. You know so, our uh, you know our coach, Alistair Clarkson. Yeah, I do. Yeah, no, he's... Uh, he's he's win not, every week, yes, yeah? He's, uh, Is he really? He's a very, very competitive man. All right, so you're going to play Fremantle then. Oh, you know, you're going to play Sydney again. You'll play Sydney. You'll yeah. beat Sydney this week and they have to play him again in the finals. If we beat Sydney up there, which it's, uh, it's actually ANZ Stadium, I think, this week as well. So it's a uh, different... I mean, they venue. don't love... Sydney don't pl- love playing in ANZ, so Hawthorne will win that game and then you will play Sydney again in the first week in the finals. But they love playing you guys at the MCG, don't they? Uh, last year, grand final day, they did. They've got good memories of it. <laughs> yes, and we've got bad memories of but it. Also, but, but that does drive you, though. But also, Sid- uh, Katie, Sydney last year were foxing in the last few rounds. They lost three out of the yes, last four right. games. We, we did beat Sydney up there last year, this time of year. Yes. So it didn't work out well for us, so did it? So maybe you should get, let them beat you. <laughs> I don't think so. It's a lot to think a, about. A very but good Hawthorne game this Friday would never night. fox. Hawthorne wouldn't fox, you're saying. You just come out no, you, swinging. Especially this time of year, you don't want to flirt with your form. Um, and we, we, we got challenged on, on Saturday against North Melbourne, who were for a team that, uh, that are outside the eight at the moment. They shouldn't be. They, uh, the football they played on Saturday was very good. Well, they could possibly still make the finals, North Melbourne. We've got to come back and we're going to talk to Hodgie about what's going to go on with the AFL and Essendon today. Yes. Okay? We're going to get the great man's take on everything that's going on with the Essendon Footy Club. Oh, there. What you going to do? What you going to do when it comes for you? Look Straight through against North Hodge. Melbourne. What you gonna yes, do? very close game. They nailed their top two. Uh, that is the, the top of the ladder is set. The top four is set. But the bottom four isn't... Who, who's the top four? Well, you've got the Hawks and the Cats. They both can't get mm-hmm. out of top two. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, no, the Cats have Cat, to beat Cat, Brisbane. Yeah, Cats, will, if they beat Brisbane... We'll at lose. home, where they've won right. 41 okay, out of 42. Yeah. You've got to think they're going to win that. Yep. They're going to be top two, and then you've got Frio, and you've got Sydney. Yep. So, or Sydney, yep. So that's the top four. But the bottom four should be set as well, Katie. Yes. But they think it won't be set because... Hodgie, there's a fair chance Essendon won't be playing finals, isn't there? Yeah, if you believe uh, or everything that's been reported for the last 24, 48 hours, um, it seems like they're going to come to an agreement with the AFL, which 
I, uh, I think everyone out there believes it's smart. You, you don't take on the AFL. Yeah. They always seem to uh, win no matter what they do. They, well, it's their law. It's well, their it's land. They own the house land. House rules. I think, yeah, I think it's, it all comes down to what, they, uh, what they're going to agree with the AFL as, as their punishment, I guess. Um, I think there's what's been thrown in. $2 million draft picks, first and second round draft picks over the next two years. That's, that's crucial. You see what happened to Carlton. Um, about ten or so years ago. Yeah, but Carlton to... managed badly. Carlton have been using. Carlton, I'm going to put it out here. Carlton have been using those excuse for ten years. They but, managed it badly. Carlton. But it's still going. Getting um, high quality kids through the draft is how you build your list. Yeah, yeah. And, and Esther and all the drugs. <laughs> I'll leave that. And also get, obviously getting, uh, getting <laughs> well, white from know, the top eight. So it's a long uh, way to skin a cat, Hodgie. Very true. I'm going to put it out there that Hurdy will be lucky to only get a 12 month ban. I'm putting that out there. Yeah, it's. it's well, you would it's, think, wouldn't you? You really would think. Well, once again, yeah, it's, from reports, it's going to be a 12-month. And then I guess from there it goes, who's going to coach Essendon in that, in that part? The, chairman, come back? the or, chairman is apparently guaranteeing he'll get his job back after 12 months, which is highly possible. And he, he could do that. He could come back. You could, you know, they could put Thompson in there for 12 months, couldn't they? Yeah. Who's they a premiership, you know, obviously legend coach, could coach his assistant now. He could coach from for 12 months. From what people months. say, I don't think he's been interested... I don't, yeah, from what people said, that, right. yeah, he's not interested to do that. So it's going to be weird if they do bring in someone for twelve months as, and then bring her back in there. So but it's well, going to be someone in the in the in the loop at Essendon. It's already. very strange. I find it strange that they would be so eager to bring someone back who has been instrumental in leading them to the position they're in now. Like, why would you be so keen to get that guy I back? I guess they, they see that he, he's a quality coach, apparently. Like, he's, um, he's a very smart footballer. But how do you define quality coach? Oh, sorry, uh, uh, tactically and from... Right. He's obviously got the players playing for him because you could see after the game that they uh, they yelled out to him to come back in and sing the song. Yeah, they're after very the game, committed so. to I'll tell you what, though, there was an, there's been an amazing stuff on this, just if you read it all. In 2011, the Cronulla team doctor, the team doctor for Cronulla in the NRL, wrote an email in 2011, because Steve Dank, the guy who was there and was at, at, yes. at Cronulla, in 2011, the Cronulla doctor said, he can't tell me what he's injecting in our players, this must stop. That was in Cronulla in and 2011. And it didn't stop? Yeah, they got rid of him. Right. But I mean, they're in massive trouble now. Yeah. But yeah. he then went to Essendon. Yeah. And the same thing happened at Essendon. Yeah. And Hurdy protected him. It was incredible. Well, was an, why, it, the question surely has got to be asked, why would Hurd protect him? There's an article in, in the Saturday's Age, which they've been holding on to since April, where they interviewed Stephen Dank. And in the article, he admits that he's given all the players this TB4 stuff. Which is the which is banned, banned in the article in f five or six times. There's references that he gave all the players this drug. And when when they asked him about it being banned, he said, "Oh, that's mind blowing. I didn't know." And then, but and since then, he's now said, "Oh no, I made a mistake in that interview." Oh. <laughs> what? So he doesn't even wow. Like, I, and, think, and, I think that's the thing that most people have sort of scratching their head about is they don't. Yeah, the, all the information that's come out, is it true, is it not true? Yeah, so hopefully when it comes to, to... Mate, it's awful. Like, this guy's in an interview where he says he gave all the players his TB4 and then he gets told that's banned in the interview. And he goes, by the journalist. By the journalist. By the journalist. And he goes, that's mind-blowing. And now, now he says, oh, no, I, that was just an error I made I think, in I, saying that. I think that's why all the, the parents... Or you heard that parent ring up and was, was in tears on the radio last week. Um, that's what, that's what they worry about. They're but the, unsure what they're But there's they're receipts that Essendon have paid for. They didn't even know. But now the receipts for all these banned drugs that the club has paid for because he was invoicing for these banned drugs. Like, they're very lucky if that whole list doesn't get suspended for two years. They're really lucky if that doesn't happen. Well, they, there's, <laughs> there's no way they can argue that there's not been the use of illegal drugs. Oh. It's just incredible. Yeah. But how are the <laughs> players... Oh, doesn't know, oh, doesn't uh, talk of course, it's yeah. hard for you, but it, it as, a, as a player who's played their guts out all season, which the Essendon players yep. have, how is it then to get to this point in the, and know... They don't even know what they're playing for. Yeah, it would be tough for them, considering the players, when you get drafted, you... Uh, you get told from the NFLPA to make sure no matter what you take or whatever, you go and pass it through the, the club doctors and, and they... As a players, I understand that mm. well, I'm, I'm glad that they haven't been hit or if the, agree uh, the well, agreements the with the AFL goes through that, that they, they don't get suspended because... <laughs> they're all going to be... I mean, they're obviously very unlucky because they didn't know what was going on and the, and the, the Players Association president said they're going to have to have long-term health checks yeah. because of what went on there. But this as, as, maniac, as as... they employed a maniac and let him stay there and heard he protected him. Mm. He's very lucky with a 12-month ban. Incredibly lucky.
Scott Hodgie. Mate, <laughs> Yeah, Hodgie? as you said, that's that's why uh, that's why the AFL have uh, taken the stance they have, and yeah, they'll uh, I well, think uh, we'll hear something more this week. A message has to be seen. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Good luck, Hodgie, against Sydney, mate, up there. The grand final rematch, mate, Friday night. Thank you very much. Should Get be a big around. game Friday night. See so you. We go. <laughs> Respect, Hodgie.